Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good morning and welcome to February on the Valder Beebe Show, gentlemen. Uh, Bill Brighton and Andres Orlando, you're welcome here to talk about what else? A Super Bowl tech review. I love it. I'm going to start with you, uh, Bill Bratton. Tell me the role that you will intersect with the Super Bowl. Well, in 2014, when I was police commissioner in New York City, we had the Super Bowl uh, between New York and New Jersey. And uh, that was my first experience with Verizon servicing the Super Bowl, which it has done for decades. And in the number of years since that time, there have been significant improvements to the already extensive efforts that they put into a very successful 2014 event in New York. And for 2021, Super Bowl 55, uh, they are up for the challenge. And public safety is up for the challenge because they're going to have communications, collaboration capabilities unrivaled anywhere in the world. They will be able to put on a safe event. And despite the coronavirus issues impacting on the event this year, uh, they will be able to uh, ensure that all the public safety agencies in Tampa for this event are going to have safe, reliable, consistent communications capability, voice, data, video. And that's critically important to the public because we don't want the public to be thinking about public safety issues. We want them enjoying the game. And that's what Verizon is committed to, ensuring that public safety has what they need to make this a safe event for everybody. I want my audience to know that Mr. Bratton is a risk, so cyber risk management expert and the former police chief of New York and Boston and Los Angeles. Okay, and so as we want people to feel safe, uh, Andres, what does Verizon do to help them technology-wise to be safe? Yeah, there's a number of things that we're doing. So, you know, for decades, Verizon has been helping first responders and the communities they serve uh, put on a safe uh, Super Bowl. And this year is no different. Um, there's a number of things that we're doing. First, as we have in the past, we've stood up the Verizon Command Center, where we have more than 100 engineers and technicians who are monitoring and managing the network. Uh, around the clock, uh, both at Raymond James uh, Stadium and in broader uh, in the broader uh, greater Tampa area. Second, we're on site side by side with law enforcement and the public safety community at the Florida State Joint uh, Emergency Operations Center to make sure that we've got really tight collaboration and coordination uh, on everything that's going on on the ground. And um, while you know COVID. Uh, is introduce uh, some new twists. Uh, fundamentally, our uh, commitment is the same that has always been in an event like this, which is uh, as America's number one network for public safety, we've got to ensure that first responders uh, stay uh, connected when it most matters, whether that's on our uh, 4G LTE network, America's most reliable, or on our new uh, 5G network, which is the world's fastest. Uh, and we got to make sure that uh, first responders have the most advanced solutions and technologies they need uh, to keep uh, the community and themselves safe during uh, this historic event. Mr. Bratton, finally, uh, the Super Bowl uh, that's being held, are people discouraged from coming there because of COVID-19? And will you have an overflow of people anyway? I spoke with Chief Dugan, the uh, police chief of Tampa last week about this issue. They do anticipate that COVID will uh, keep the size of the crowds down outside the stadium. Uh, inside, certainly they're restricted to about one third of what they would normally have for capacity. But uh, it's really unknown uh, what the crowd situation will be outside. Uh, and once again, it's a hometown team playing in the hometown. So a lot of people are going to be even more excited than they might be if the game were being held someplace else. So we'll just have to wait and see. But the good news is public safety is prepared, Verizon's prepared, uh, and everybody should have a great time in spite of the COVID concerns that we all should have. All right, then, Andreas, those people who come into town, maybe they want to get a phone or something like that from Verizon, where would you send them? I'd send them to one of our stores. We have many in, uh, in the Tampa, the greater Tampa area, and we'd be happy to... Uh, to serve anyone who's uh, interested in uh, a Verizon's technology. 
Mr. Bratton and Andreas, thank you for being here talking about the Super Bowl. Can't wait. And I think you guys are going to do a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.